what are things that you can do to these properties that are going to prevent them from costing you money? How can we reduce hassle? How can we reduce cost on these properties? What can we do to make these more profitable, bulletproof rental investments? The third thing that I'd like you to do to bulletproof your rental properties, and it's important to note that this particular thing is going to be limited to multifamily properties. I want you to soundproof in between those units. As investors, the biggest killer to our return is tenant turnover. One of the things that causes tenant turnover, especially in multifamily properties like duplexes, is all the additional noise that is created by the neighbor living in such close proximity to you. If you've got an up-down duplex, the guy downstairs is always going to complain about the guy upstairs and vice versa. So it's a good idea to go ahead and soundproof in between those units. Now it's going to be cost prohibitive to actually rip down the ceilings and professionally soundproof in between these units. That's just not something that's that you can feasibly do on a reasonable budget. So what you can do to soundproof your multifamily units is install carpet. Now I know what you're thinking you're just like, dude, the second thing you just told us to do to bulletproof these rentals was remove carpet. Now you're telling us to install carpet. Yes, I am telling you to install carpet on some of your multifamily units. If you find that you have a building where the noise just carries too much, you know, you're going to see this in some really old duplexes and that noise creates really short term tenancies. It's probably in your best interest to do carpet in those units to keep that turnover down because that's what hurts us guys. The cost that we have to spend re-renovating these units, releasing these units, sprucing these things up, making them look beautiful in between tenants, that's where we get hit. That's where our return is chipped away. So do I like to see wood floors and vinyl floors whenever possible? Yes, because the turnover cost will be lower, but I'd rather have a little bit higher turnover cost if I only have that turnover cost once every four to five years as opposed to every 12 months. That's just not something I want to see. So if you have to install carpet to keep those turnovers down, my recommendation to you is make sure you go with an incredibly dark color. You absolutely never want to put in a really light or like a white carpet. Absolutely not. I don't care if you think that that white carpet will look beautiful in your unit. Your goal isn't to make it look super beautiful in that unit. Your goal is to pick a color that matches the overall scheme of the apartment, but will be as durable and last as long as possible. Darker is better. The darker you go, the longer you'll get out of that carpet. The longer you get out of that carpet, the more money you can put where it belongs in your pocket. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.